Grams. Hello, I'm Grams. Are you ready to have some fun and read? Awesome. Okay, go ahead and get comfortable in your favorite spot and let's see what we're going to read today. Today we're reading Peppa Pig and the Earth Day Adventure, based on the animated series created by Neville Astley, Mark Baker, and Phil Davies. Today in our book, Peppa Pig and the Earth Day Adventure, Peppa and her family plan a visit to the Botanical Gardens to celebrate Earth Day. Let's see what happens. It's Earth Day, and Peppa Pig and her family are ready to celebrate with a visit to the Botanical Gardens. Before they go, Peppa and George sort the recycling. Newspapers go in the red bin, cans go in the blue bin, and bottles go in the green bin. Vegetable scraps and eggshells go in the compost bin, says Peppa. Grandpa Pig will use the compost in his garden. Ew, says George. It's time to go, and Daddy Pig has a surprise. An electric car. The car runs on batteries instead of gas. That helps the air stay clean. The car even has a name. It is called Roger. This car can drive itself, says Daddy Pig. Peppa and George look out the window on the way to the botanical gardens. Look, says Peppa, a windmill. Ooh, says George. Mr. Bull built a windmill near my school, says Peppa. The wind turns the blades and they make electricity. Whoosh, says George. At the botanical gardens, Peppa and her family meet Miss Rabbit. Welcome, she says. Would you like to see the wildflower garden? Yes, please, says Peppa. Look at all the bees, said Mummy Pig. The bees and the flowers help each other. Miss Rabbit tells them. The bees take pollen from one flower and move it to another one. That helps the flower make seeds, which grow into new flowers. The bees take some of the nectar back to the hive and use it to make honey, Miss Rabbit says. Peppa likes honey. George likes honey too. Peppa and her family visit the room with cacti and palm trees. Peppa sees a new plant. What is that, she asks. That's a Venus flytrap, Miss Rabbit says. It eats flies. Peppa and George watch while the plant eats a fly. Wow, says Peppa. Chomp, says George. The next room is very wet. This is the rainforest garden, says Miss Rabbit. These plants need a lot of water. Miss Rabbit flips a switch and turns on the rain. Next, they head outside to the children's garden, where they find something really special. A muddy puddle. Peppa's friends are visiting the botanical gardens today, too. Hello, Susie Sheep. Hello, Pedro Pony. Hello, Mandy Mouse, she says. On the way home, Daddy has a rest while Roger drives the car. It's like magic, says Peppa. Police officers, Panda and Squirrel, stop Daddy Pig's car because Daddy Pig doesn't have his hands on the wheel. But it's okay. Roger is driving. Roger shows his driver's license to the officers. It's dark when the family returns home. It has been a great Earth Day. Will you be all right out here, Roger? asks Peppa. Oh, yes, says Roger. Good night, Peppa. Good night, Roger, says Peppa. Happy Earth Day. Peppa and her family had a lot of fun celebrating Earth Day at the Botanical Gardens. What was your favorite part of their trip? Was it the bees making honey, sorting stuff in the recycling bins, or the ride in the electric car at Roger? I think Peppa's favorite part was the muddy puddle. Thanks for spending time with me today. If you liked this video and want to see more, please ask your parents to click the subscribe button. I'll post a new video every Thursday. Until next time, be kind and keep reading.